so a few people have asked, can you run a diesel heater off of a tool battery? Well, I happen to have some, well, Makita tools and their equivalent Makita batteries. So I thought, sure, why not? Let's see if we can run a diesel heater uh, off one of these batteries. To help with this, I purchased off AliExpress one of these things. It uh, just clips onto the top of your battery like that and gives you two wires in which to power things with. Yes, of course, you could of course just jam in two tabs of metal, AVE style, and go off that, but I thought, eh, for the few pounds at these cost, I thought I would just make a thing out of it. The other thing, when these are fully charged, these are 18 volts, and I don't know how well this setup would deal with 18 volts. So I purchased uh, a little, uh, power converter thing, so this will take, uh, I don't know what it was, in any voltage input and you can adjust its output so we can give it any 0 to 60 or something input and output or 12 volts, we'll just tune that to 12 volts, so we'll be our 14, we'll give it 14 I think, because 14 is more likely what it would be on a running car or 13.8 of a charge, fully charged battery, anyway we'll go, go with 14 volts for simplicity and we'll wire it all up and see if it runs or see if it catches fire. The other reason I bought this particular module is it claims 10 amp output, so we'll see if it gives anywhere near 10 amps when we run 8 and a bit amps through it when starting here. So, uh, as you can see, what we're going to do here is tidy up a little bit and then we'll try this out. Right, here is the module. And here's the doohickey for the battery. Let's see, I just need a screwdriver of appropriate size. Fourteen point something volts. Fourteen volts on the button, can you see? No. Take my word for it. It was fourteen volts. 14.000 volts. Let me see if I can just get this in shot. There we go, 14 volts. Okay. Okay, for our first test, I'm going to use a non Makita battery. I'm using the cheap and nasty battery in case it all goes to fuck and burst into flames, and then I won't have killed a good battery, I'll just have killed this bad one. So, it's in. And if I bring us round the afterburner, which is still connected, has fired up. You see it's showing 14.2 volts, 8 degrees. Everything's connected. Now, let us uh, just turn it. Oh, let's rip the tripod off its mount. Let's set it, set that to not 2 amps, 20 amps, DC, 0, put that round there, and we've currently got 200 odd, 200 milliamps, which is what the afterburn uses when it's got its Wi-Fi and its Bluetooth on. This hand, this hand's going to go over here and turn the afterburner on. Starting. There, there's, uh, there's the current there. One, two, two. Three. Oh, just for anyone that's interested, yes, it's still running on petrol because that's what was in it last. Oh. I think the power supply had a brown out there. Hello, E. E. E10. Ignition fail. Yes. So the 10 amp supply, or the battery, didn't do the full 10 amps. So the question is which bit failed? Did the battery fail? I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, we've let the smoke out. 
I saw a wisp of smoke there, and it has fucking died. So, eh, uh, right, let me just uh, make everything safe. Battery's still good. Oh, there's a delightful aroma of melted circuitry over here. Which one got hot? Oh, these little icy chips, one of them got really hot and smoked out. Well, that was shite, and I absolutely did not do uh, 10 amps. It did 7, briefly. Ha, that fucker's hot. So. Right, so this little uh, hot boy here, uh, I don't know which one it was that popped. Uh, if you can see. That one looks like it's hot. These two look like they got a bit warm. Uh, nobody looks like, you know, there's no skid. Well, that one's got a bit of a, can you see on that one? It's got, it's got a, sh a coloured patch. So I'm probably going to say it's that one. But yeah, so uh, did not last. Did not last 10 amps. Didn't last, well, it lasted 7 amps. It did 7 amps briefly and then shot the bed. So, hey, as soon as I find the packet, I'll put that back in it and that can go straight back from, uh, I bought that from eBay. Oh, it's gone back. As it didn't last the 10 amps it's supposed to. The question now is do we just connect the 18 volt battery straight to the air? I think I'll disconnect the uh, afterburner for that. I don't mind frying a ECU and a cheap controller, uh, but I am sure as fuck not frying my £80 worth of afterburner that I can't even get in the UK anymore. So, let's put, connect that back up. Right, the afterburner's totally isolated. We just need a couple of uh, jumpy jumpers to Connect these two wires together, select my Wego clones, even though they're not clones because we couldn't even make a connect to the shape. In for a penny, in for a pound. Here we go. Black. Red. And black. And Red, black, red, black, red, black, red. We'll put the current clamp on it anyway. Although we'll need to zero out again because we've moved everything. Zero. That one there. Are we ready? Take two, this time with pure 18 volts of power. Here we go. Well, it lights up. Can anyone see it light up? Yes, you can see it light up. And it's not harassed us that we've. Oh! Error zero two, battery over voltage. Okay, that was that then. So to answer the question, can you run a diesel heater off a drill battery? 18 volts? No, uh, it gives error zero two, which is the battery voltage one, I'm sure. Anyway, the battery light was flashing because the voltage was too high for it. Uh, we tried a module to bring the voltage down to 12 volts, and that was supposedly rated at 10 amps and died at 7 amps after a few seconds. If anyone knows where I can get a module that will do, pardon me, 10 amps or more, and I'll take 18 volts and output 12 to 14, please leave a comment down below and I'll quite happily run this test again. But as for 18 volt Makita batteries, diesel heater. No, it will not run in this guise. Thanks for watching.